Hi guys, today we are going to be reading and annotating an article together. And this article is called, Are Video Games a Sport? So I want you to follow along with this video, read along with me, and annotate in your text the same way that I annotate in my text. So like I said, the title of this article is, Are Video Games a Sport? And we see an illustration here at the top with two people playing video games on computers. We see a referee like in a sports game and then in the background we see people in the crowd cheering again like a sports game would be. So at the top of the article, it says video game competitions have professional teams, star players, and millions of fans. Is it time to call gaming a sport? So it's asking me a question here. So then I can now predict that this article is going to be talking about whether or not video games should be considered a sport. Fans line up outside the stadium for hours. They wear t-shirts celebrating their favorite teams and players. Once inside, excitement builds as thousands of people wait for the competition to begin. Fans snap selfies and reporters get ready to film the action. When the players come out, the crowd goes wild. What is this game? It isn't the Super Bowl, nor is it the World Series or the NBA Finals. In fact, the players aren't on a field or a court. They're sitting at computers, tapping away at keyboards. Welcome to the League of Legends World Championship, one of the biggest video game competitions in the world. So I'm gonna stop here and I'm going to highlight the League of Legends World Championship. And I learn that what that is, is that's a video game competition. It's one of the biggest video game competitions in the world. And in this section of the text, they are comparing this competition, the League of Legends World Championship, with sports games. They're comparing it to the Super Bowl, to the World Series, to the NBA Finals, because a lot of the same things are happening. So I'm going to draw an arrow to the Super Bowl, to the World Series, to the NBA Finals, because it's saying that it sounds a lot like what these sports games sound like. We have uh, people wearing t-shirts celebrating their favorite teams. We have uh, fans taking selfies. We have reporters getting ready. We have the crowd going wild. We have all of these things that show us that this video game competition is similar to a sports tournament. So I'm going to label these things that I just highlighted. How the video game competition is similar to a sports game. So I'm going to keep reading, and my first subtitle that I see says, Serious Skills. Video game competitions are known as eSports or electronic sports. So I see that they are talking about something called eSports. eSports are also called electronic sports. So in this case, they are referring to video games as a type of sport, as an electronic sport. In recent years, eSports have become increasingly popular. Nearly 100 million people tuned in to watch the 2019 League of Legends World Championship. That's more than three times the population of Texas. So I'm going to make a note after this paragraph to tell me that this video game competition is very popular. As the field on esports grows, a debate has emerged about whether or not gaming is, in fact, a sport. Typically, a sport is defined as a physical activity that requires skill and is played by an individual or a team. Think of the stamina needed to run continuously during a soccer game, the coordination it takes to sink a layup, the strength and balance involved in a gymnast's bars routine. So, we see 
a definition here of what a sport actually is. So if we're asking, are video games a sport? We need to understand what is a sport. And it says a sport is defined as a physical activity that requires skill and is played by an individual or a team. So I'm just going to make a note that this tells us what is a sport. Because then we'll be able to determine whether or not video games do fall into the sport category. The skills required to play video games competitively aren't so different. Gaming takes laser focus and the ability to stay calm under pressure. It also requires consistent practice to train fingers to move with precision and speed. And given that some competitions can last for hours, gamers certainly need stamina. So in this paragraph that we just read, the author is listing the skills that are required to play video games. It says that it takes focus, the ability to stay calm. It requires practice to train. It requires you to move with precision and speed and stamina. So all of these are similarities between video games and sports. Some schools already call playing video games a sport. More than 100 colleges in the United States have esports teams. At Roosevelt University in Illinois, the esports team is part of the athletics department. The players attend practice four days a week and can get scholarships for being on the team, just like other college athletes. Organizers for the Olympics are even considering adding esports in the near future. So we see that more than 100 colleges in the United States have esports teams. So it is becoming more likely that video games are going to be widely accepted as a sport based on this information. My next subtitle is called Sitting Isn't a Sport. There's no question that esports have a lot in common with traditional sports. But can an activity that's done primarily from a chair really count as a sport? Playing NBA 2K20 will simply never get your heart pumping and your muscles working like a sprint around the track. Some argue that classifying gaming as a sport could even have a detrimental effect on kids. Gaming is pretty sedentary. And if kids start trading tennis rackets for consoles, they might not get as much exercise, which could be a problem. Physical activity helps lower anxiety and stress and supports overall health. So in this section, we see that the author is saying, yes, they do have a lot in common with traditional sports, but does that really mean that video games would count as a sport? They say that playing video games is not going to get your heart pumping and your muscles working the same as sprinting around a track. So here we could say that this section is talking about some differences between video games and sports. The author even goes on to say that it could actually be dangerous or detrimental to consider gaming a sport. So I'm going to highlight where it says that this could have a detrimental effect on kids. And the reason for this is because it is sedentary, which means that you sit in one spot for a very long time. There's not much exercise. We also see that physical activity actually helps lower anxiety and stress and supports overall health. And without exercise, you're not getting the same benefits. So this paragraph is talking about some negative effects of gaming. Here's something else to think about. Esports may have millions of fans and involve fierce competition, but so do MasterChef Junior and The Voice. Would you call those sports? How about science fairs, chess tournaments, and debate clubs? 
Those are all wonderful activities, but no one considers them sports. What is clear is that esports are here to stay, and they'll be just as fun no matter how we label them. So in this final section, the author is comparing video games to other competitions, such as the show's MasterChef Junior or The Voice, or different competitions like science fairs, chess clubs, chess tournaments, and debate clubs, and all of the different things that we could compare video games to. So I am going to make a note next to this section and I'm going to say that it compares video games to other competitions. So we can see that this article does not give us an, a definitive answer of whether or not video games are a sport. This article instead presents multiple sides of two different arguments so that you as the reader can make your own decision. So now for your activity for today, once you are done with reading and annotating, you are going to fill in this section that says, what do you think? Are video games a sport? Go back to the article to find arguments that support each side of the debate. Write the information on the lines below. You need to come up with two more reasons as to why video games is a sport, and you need to come up with three reasons explaining why video games are not a sport. And you are going to fill in those blanks, and then you are going to go to the bottom of the page, and on the bottom of the page it says, examine points on both sides of the debate, as well as your own beliefs, and decide what you think. So you are going to look at all the reasons you came up for why video games are a sport and all the reasons for why video games are not a sport. And you are going to figure out which of those is the strongest argument. Also think about what you personally think. And in the lines down here at the bottom, you are going to state your opinion in one sentence below. This must be a complete sentence. So you are either going to say that yes, Video games are a sport because, and explain why, or you are going to say no, video games are not a sport because, and explain why. Don't worry about where it says anything about the essay. You don't need to worry about that today. You're just coming up with reasons for yes, reasons for no, and then communicating what you think. You will be submitting this annotated article and your completed chart to task number three, share 510 submit our video games as sport. Again, after you complete the yes no column and the question at the bottom, submit this whole document as a PDF to task number three, share 510, submit our video games as sport.